Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to a special card video this week. I've got this new stamp set by Stampin' Up! called Making Spirits Bright. And I've created a whole set of cards with this set. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and create one of them for you. And you can see photos of the others on my blog. But here's some um, heart teeny. So there's a Valentine's Day. I love this set because it's got a bunch of different holidays in it. So you've got a Valentine's Day one. You can see I've raised up the panel. Um, there's a Halloween one, bring on the booze, that's, that's actually my favorite one, and then forget the cake, birthday, and there are a couple of other ones in there. Um, but th it's just such a fun set, I just love the sentiments in it. There's sentiments for the inside of the card as well as the outside of the card. Um, it's just a very versatile set. And then I'm, I'm using the Frames dies by Simon Says Stamp on all of these cards and also some stencils. These are the stencils I used and I'm going to be using the Stars and Dots one from Simon Says Stamp on the Christmas one that I'm about to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, open up my dies and pull out. Um, I'm actually using three of them on this whole set but uh, I'm taking the inside die and I'm going to line it up just right using my magnetic platform. makes it so easy. And then I'll run it through the Sizzix and you can see all the different pieces that come out. So I'll get an outline, I'll get an inside panel, and then another outline, and then um, I'm going to discard that center and the outside. So to color this panel here, I'm going to use Barn Door for this particular one and my ink foam applicator and I'm going to use very very light pressure because my first coating of the ink is going to be very light. I just want kind of a very thin layer of ink here because I'm going to be putting more barn door on top of it so I don't want it to to be too dark. So I'm using very light pressure. I'll start off the panel and then work my way onto it and then as my ink sort of gets laid onto the paper, I will put a little bit more pressure. So I'm just going to go around a couple times and make sure it's all even. And then I'll take my stencil and I'm using now a sponge dauber, which is just a fingertip applicator so I can get more exact uh, precision um, when I apply the ink. So I'm going to line it up just right and I'm going to hold it down. So I'm not really, I'm being a little lazy here in that I'm not um, adhering it to my craft mat. I'm just holding it with my fingers and I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> so um, when I use this ink applicator, this sponge dauber, it allows me to put um, quite a bit of ink on these little areas. So I'm going to cover the whole thing. I'm going to be careful not to go to the edge here because this stencil is not a full size stencil. Um, but obviously a full size stencil would be better in this case, but I just did it twice. I just layered it on the other side just to connect it and you can't even tell. And I actually used this stencil on the birthday card also. So lining it up again and then taking my barn door. So this is a tone on tone look. And I did tone on tone on all the other cards except for the Valentine's one. And um, if you want to go to my blog, I'll tell you exactly which inks I used on all of them. All right, now that that's finished, I'm going to go ahead and create my frames here. So on all of them, I used a pigment ink. And in this case, I'm using Avery L Lemongrass and my sponge applicator. And notice I'm moving the, um, the frame around so that I only get a little portion of my craft mat dirty. And pigment inks are very wet inks. They're kind of like paint. And so they lay on top of the paper and stay wet for a long period of time which allows you to emboss it. So I'm going to take some clear embossing powder and I'm just going to sprinkle it on top there and then I'll heat it to set it and it'll give me a really nice pretty shiny finish. So that's my outside frame and then I've also got an inside frame and I'm going to do the same exact thing. And you can see I'm using my paper piercer with my left hand to just hold it in place so it doesn't move around. And I'm being really careful to just sort of twist that sponge dauber I make a twisting motion so that I don't break this delicate piece. All right, now I'm going to put all this together and I'm going to raise up the panel. So I took some washi tape and I wish I had a lighter color. This was the only washi tape I was willing to to part with to put it like on the underside of a card. So, um, but you can use any washi tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up. And then it's so thin, but it's just thick enough to really be able to use the washi tape and adhere it to the inside panel. So I'm just going to take little pieces and I'm going to work my way around. 
and I kind of push it together as you can see and then just lay the tape down and when I first thought about doing this I thought it was going to take a lot of time and it was going to be really tedious and I'd have to peel off and retry and retry but I didn't have to do that one time every time I laid it down it was it was fine so um, I did that for the outside panel and then I did it again for the inside panel now I wish I like I said I wish I had a lighter color because there was a little bit of a reflection you can sort of tell of the red when you look under the card not that anybody's looking under the card um, but if you have a lighter color it probably is a better idea okay so now that that's all finished you can see how it all just sticks together just fine and now it's time to work on the sentiment in the middle so I'm going to use some VersaFine black onyx ink which is another pigment ink so that I can clear emboss it I've been doing a lot of clear embossing lately and this is uh, the ultra fine hero arch clear embossing powder and I'm really enjoying it a lot um, now I do this a lot with my Stampin' Up! marker so I'm putting a little bit of a marker this is so saffron on an acrylic block and then I'm going to pick it up with a blender pen and so um, I find that like when I use the Stampin' Up! markers directly to the paper they come out a little bit too dark and I wanted this to be uh, have a little bit of dimension so I start off on the left side and I work my way to the right now a blender pen has I can't remember the name of the chemical that's in here but it'll pull the color up and then it'll fade it out as you color with it so I'm gonna pick it back up pick up some more color and work it on my paper and um, I'm working toward the right so by the time I get to the right side of the glass it's a little lighter and with a blender pen you just use a scratch sheet of paper and you just wipe off the color and it's ready for the next color this is pool party I'm doing the same exact thing I'm just gonna pull some off the block and my um, tripod is slowly falling down on the table um, and I didn't notice it until I was basically done with this glass so but it's the same process with the blender pen and then I'm gonna color my candy cane in with a real red marker um, and then also the berries in there and then I decided I wanted to color the leaves the same way with my blender pen so I'm using garden green and I'm just gonna pick some up with my blender pen and I always start in the darkest area and I move outward so if I want to add more ink I go back and start in with that darkest area and move outward just gives a really nice light color and that's all I'm gonna do for now I'm gonna go back in and do that ribbon later but um, I decided I was going to put my sentiment in there first. I almost did it the wrong way. <laughs> then I realized my card was going in the opposite direction. So um, there is a sentiment for each of the different cards in the same stamp set. And now I'm going to adhere my panel um, to my glass here. And I'm just using some foam dimensionals uh, by Stampin' Up. And I'm just going to lay it on top. And then when I flip it over, I'll use just a regular tape runner and then um, I went ahead and filled in some dimensionals that, that weren't touching that piece just to make sure I had it all popped up and then I just have my card base which is four and a quarter by five and a half inch folded and I'm just going to adhere it to that and then finally I wanted just a little bit of shimmer so I used my Wink of Stella clear pen I'm just going to go over the um, the drink in here and uh, I find that the clear pen is really all you need they sell like tons and tons of different colors um, and I have several of them but I decided that the clear is the one that I really need I don't really like the colors much so um, I, as you can see I was going to use shimmer on the bow and decided I wanted to make it red so I'm using that same blender pen technique with real red coloring the bow and then I'll go over it again with the Wink of Stella pen and that'll do it for this card so it's pretty simple I think um, if you put all these cards together it makes such a cute little gift package for someone and it's just so different with all the different sentiments on here I just think it's really cute so you've got forget the cake I'm just going over all of them again and inside it says happy birthday this one says Hartini it says love you on the inside and then finally bring on the booze my favorite it says happy Halloween so anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and um, I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.